What's up, guys? Ice Man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Ice Stack. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page. And swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my channel members and patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. So what you have before you now is the Manazon that we've all been waiting for. That's right, that Amazon with an inventory filled with poison damage charms. Alright. Let's see how much damage these little toads can actually do. Look at this, I have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 30, 34, 31! Shekels. 31 little shekels in the inventory. Pestilent small charm of anthrax. 451 poison damage over 12 seconds. Other than that, I don't have much to boost poison because it's not a skill, of course. It's just other charms. So trying Ool's gloves aren't going to be helpful here. So I just have laying of hands for the IS and a few other nice mods. I wanted to make plague in a bow, but I can't for some reason. Maybe you can't make it in bows, I don't know. So I just have a Faith. Faith is going to be good, it's fast attack, and it has ignore target's defense, a ton of AR. So I just want to make the arrows hit, so that I can apply the poison damage, right? Artisan's Diadem of Speed. So 30 faster on walk, uh, some negative 15% to poison resistance on your enemies, and the poison uh, added damage, of course, isn't going to help here. But uh, it does have 110 poison damage over 2 seconds from the helm, so that's what you're seeing there, I think. But okay, anyway. Are you kidding me? It doesn't, it doesn't add poison, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, do that? Oh my god! 25% to poison skill damage, it actually does add to it? Okay... I guess poison skill damage does add to it. Holy freaking toad, a new discovery here at the research institution. At the research center, we've discovered more bullshit. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect that, but... Okay, nonetheless, let's let's pop those back on the triangle gloves and shoot. At, at this rate, I should make a bramble armor. Uh, perhaps I'll do that for my next video, but instead of bramble, I have enigma right now for the teleport, movement speed, skills, for whatever that's worth, not much. Cat's Eye, 30 fast run walk, 20 IS, not much with this build, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to get that poison applied to the arrows, and, uh, the problem is, multi-shot still does three-force weapon damage, so I might not use multi-shot, but I think it will at first. Alder's Avenge for the run walk, Raven Frost, Nos Coil, the mana per kill, some IS, and a nice dual each ring for whatever that's worth. Then I have a Torch and an Annie. All right, and the mercenary is just decked out. But before I show you his gear, let's try this. Now, this is player's one difficulty. All right, here's one multi-shot. And they go. Still applied. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It killed most It killed most of them. Oh, these guys are poison immune. Dumbass. I uh, forgot to have a Sunder Charm, but then again, that's going to take away like 1,500 poison damage. So maybe I don't need one. Okay, let's, let's do one little blast over here. Maybe two. Two blasts. Holy toad. Look at this. 12 seconds, though. And I think for some of them, it lasts less than 12 seconds. Uh, something to do with, like, their poison length, duration, or whatever. Hot damn. Look at that thick boy go. Are you getting a little army going on here? All right, let's go to the Chaos Sanctuary. I'm a tit bit scared. Tit bit scared down in this area. Uh, this character is level 93. Goes by the name of Poison Bob. Oh my god. Holy shit, it actually works. Look at this. Imagine this with Bramble. Imagine this with Bramble. Uh, if you guys will like the video, like the damn video, subscribe to the page, hit that bell. Holy shit. I can't believe that the Poison skill stuff actually does add to your, uh, your things. Uh, do I even want Bramble? You probably want the, um... Oh my god, they're immune to poison. Skip them. 
You probably don't want Bramble. Oh shit, those those guys aren't immune to poison, are they? The Pit Lord things? Let's find out. And again, I, I am using multi-shot, so it's only doing 3 fourths of damage. 18k instead of the 25k. So let's try a little bit of strafe. Uh, the problem with that is that I'm just going to hit him a lot with the arrows itself, so that might in itself almost kill the damn things. So I kind of like using multi-shot. Alright, so yeah, it, it kind of sucks big you-know-what, but you guys know that's why we're here. Uh, that's why we're here, that's what the research institution is for. And you hear legends of guys running around with these things, you find like one of them is worth like five burrs or some shit. And, uh, but really, uh, it's kind of ass, but uh, let's, let's keep going here for a minute. Hot damn, come on! It sucks! Look at that mercenary go. Let me show you his gear. Andy's Visage. Or is that Visage? Let me know in the comments. Chom Rune. Two dual skills and all that crap. Chains of Honor just because. And then I have Dual Plague on him. Of course, Conviction doesn't affect poison resistance on enemies. Conviction only works with fire, cold, and lightning. Uh, it doesn't work with magic or poison. So with that being said, lower resist is the sort of uh, effect that I want here on my mercenary. So Plague has a 20% chance to cast a level 12 lower resist when struck. So I have two of these on my mercenary. Now, I was hoping I could make a damn Plague in a bow. Uh, maybe that's just Project Diablo 2 where you can do that? I'm not sure, but I tried to make the damn thing and it wouldn't work. So... I uh, made it go on ladder as well. It just didn't work. So yeah, a plague bow would be awesome. But let me know in the comments. Is there a better bow? Oh, come to think of it. What are you doing, you fat toad? You need to use a, uh, a six-socketed freaking bow. Uh, yeah. Just get a six-socketed bow. Hydra bow. Or crusader bow, I think, are the two options. Or, of course, you could get a five-socketed matriarchal. Uh, but then you get the three to bow and crossbow skills, but I'm not really looking to test out the bow and crossbow skills. You know, I'll get a few more arrows with multi-shot. But okay, stay tuned for that video. Uh, that is really going to test out this build. Uh, you need a six-socketed poison-faceted bow. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably use a, um... Is Hydra Bow or Crusader Bow faster? I'm gonna have to look this shit up. There we go, there's the lower res apply to him. I mean, basically, I've killed these damn things with, uh... Oh, shit. I, I don't have a way of identifying this. Uh, you gotta identify those things. Now right, we're gonna skip it. We're oh, oh, oh there's, there's one. Here, go, go get it. Go get it. Just go identify it. It's okay, we got time. We got time. What is this shit gonna be like in Player's 8? Sucks. Alright. Almost there. Oh, shit. I didn't uh, activate Valkyrie. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Let me know what you guys think about this build. Am I doing something wrong here? You know, what other gear would you want? Um, you could use, like, Venom. I tried Venom. It didn't seem to work out. It seemed to override, uh, like, the massive poison damage that I have here. Uh, yeah, Venom really sucked for some reason. Uh, I don't think I just condensed it and kept the damage. I think that it, uh, it only used whatever damage would generally work over 2 seconds or 0.5 seconds or however Venom works. So yeah, I did try Venom uh, on a treachery and it didn't seem to do the trick. Oh shit, I don't have any portals, nothing. I got, I got nothing. got nothing. Come on, thick boy. That's going to be a spiritual journey. You need, uh, you need the guided arrow, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be a spiritual journey fighting the Diablo. Oh damn, I have a lot of health. I, I think I actually pumped up Vitality. Alright, there you have it. Players 1 difficulty with this thing. Let's try Players 8 just real quick. Uh, I'm a little worried, but uh, other than that, I want to try the 6 socketed ball. Welcome back to the spiritual journey. Game difficulty set to eight. Let's see what it does. Let's uh, let's let's, let's spray a multi shot this way. Look at that! How shitty that is. Oh, it's still going. 
It's still going, look at that. Oh my god, it's not bad. Now it is pretty bad. But uh, yeah, what I'm gonna do, stay tuned for the video. Alright. I'm going to pop on a six-socketed, six-faceted uh, bow. It's gonna be absolute hog. That should be negative uh, 60 to enemy poison res. And um, what else to do? Plus 60 poison skill damage, which apparently uh, works with the charms. I didn't realize that was going to be the case, but uh, yeah, it does work with the charms. But yeah, in the Chaos Sanctuary, this is going to be complete ass. You see this? Yeah, we're in big trouble here. But uh, okay, so I will try that other build, alright? But uh, I do appreciate you guys. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page. Follow that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And bless it to my patrons and channel members. May your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. Peace be with you. Oh shit, look at th these guys have the, the lower res applied and it's still just complete ass. Alright, we just got to try a different bow. I'll see you in the next video.